moves smoothly between two functions. So um, as you can see on my screen, we've got two functions f and g joined smoothly at point a, f of a, and a, g of a, if the derivative of g at a must equal to the derivative of f at a. So these two gradient functions must be the same. So if they are not the same, meaning the two functions f and g do not join one another smoothly. So it might be a gap there or maybe like a break or maybe some sort of discontinuity right there. So hence it is not differentiable. Um, so in this tutorial, I will show you um, two ways to handle these kind of problem. Um, we're going to do it, um, we're going to see it graphically and then we're going to verify it algebraically. So uh, in this, uh, I did everything on the notes page, but um, you can do all the calculations algebraically on your calculator page. So let's just take a look at example number one here. I ask you to consider f of x equals did this um, quadratic x squared plus 2x plus 2 where x is greater than or equal to 0 and your g of x is a linear function 2x plus 2 where x is less than 0 and we need to verify to see whether or not f of x joins smoothly with g of x at x equals to 0. So before we're going to do the algebra, let's just see it graphically first. So what I did here is I opened up my graph page and in my first function, I simply typed the quadratic as per what I gave you over here. And then in my f of 2, I simply type my linear with the restriction and the two graphs looks like this. So your quadratic and your linear at x equals to 0 right here, it appears that it's continuous, but you never assume that. So what we're going to do is we're going to sketch the gradient function of f of 1 and the gradient function of f of 2 on this same set of axes. And we're just going to see whether they were going to have the same um, gradient or not. So in order for you to do that, what I want you to do is just hit tab and the shortcut for you to sketch the derivative graph is simply press shift negative. So basically it will give you this derivative template. So I'm going to type x, hit tab for me and in my f of 3 I will sketch the derivative of my quadratic function which is f of 1. Don't forget to put the x in, hit enter for me. And then hit tab again. In f of 4, we were going to sketch the derivative of your linear. So the same thing, the shortcut is shift negative x tab. And I will click my variable button and I will select f of 2 and x, enter. So now by inspection, if you look at between my f of 3 and my f of 4, meaning my black graph and my pink graph at x equals to 0, it looks like that it actually have exactly the same gradient um, function or the same, um, the same value of the derivative. And by looking at the, um, the increments on my vertical axes, it likes that the gradient for both g dash of x and f dash of x is equaling to positive 2. But um, I'm going to verify this using um, algebra. So I'm going to go back to my notes page here, or you can do this by your calculator page. And I'm going to do this calculation here. So um, with your um, calculator page, you don't have to go um, enter the math box. You just type and find the derivative as per usual. So I'm just going to do calculation, the same process. It's going to be derivative at a point, And my interest is x at 0. OK. And I'm going to type in my quadratic. x squared plus 2x plus 2 at x equals 0. So the derivative of my 
uh, of f is positive 2. So I'm going to do the same thing for my g of x. And it'll be at x equals to 0. We're going to OK it. And I'm going to type my linear. And as you can see, f dash of x, um, f dash at 0 to be precise equals to positive 2. And g dash at 0 also equals to positive 2. So therefore now, as you can see, we can verify and tell the teacher that you simply, if you want to verify this, you simply tell me that it's going to be, so simply type f dash at 0 equals to g dash at 0 um, equals to 2. And basically you can go, I'm just trying to do this on the math box and then just go, uh, and then obviously verify that one. So just state hence uh, f of x and g of x joins smoothly. So that's what you need to back up your answer as. So that's the first example there. So we're going to move on and do another um, example just for you to see um, the concept being repeated. So let's just have a look at our example two. So we're talking about trig functions now. So my f of x is 2 sine 2x and our restrictions we're going from 0 to pi and my g of x is a negative cosine graph and my restrictions were going from pi to 2 pi. I ask you the same question. Does f of x join smoothly with g of x at x equals to pi or not? So we're going to repeat the concept. So I open up my calculator page and uh, sorry, my graph page, and I input f of 1 as my f of x, obeying the restriction. And as you can see, it looks the, like the blue curve right there. And um, I input in my f of 2 as g of x, which, is our, which was our negative cosine function, obeying the restriction as well, which gives me this segment of my cosine graph. And the question is, um, does... Um, f of x and g of x join smoothly at pi. Right. So what you're going to do is, I'm just going to adjust my um, my x scale here. So what you can do is you just click, double click on your x scale here, and um, I'm going to do my x scale by pi on four, and you just basically type select, and we're going to go tab four. So it makes a better view rather than increments by one. So I do by pi on four, as you can see there. All right, so our point one pi on four, two pi on four, three pi on four, and four pi on four. So that's what that one value here means, and so on. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. So in my f of three, I'm going to sketch the derivative of f of one. So what do you do again? You go shift negative, that's our shortcut, x, tab, and I will select f of 1 again, x, enter, and then I'm going to go tab, and then I'm going to go shift negative, x, tab, and it will be derivative of f of 2, x, enter. Now, as you can see, I'm just going to focus my attention between the black graph, which is this curve here, which is the the, the derivative um, of my g of x and the pink of my f of x. I'm sorry, and the pink graph is the 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 derivative of my um, f two, which is the negative cosine one there. Clearly, at x equals um, to pi, which is right here, you can see there is a jump. So meaning this is a point of discontinuity. Surely, they don't join smoothly. And we're going to do it verified algebraically. And you find the, de the derivative of your sine function at x equals to pi and the derivative of your cosine function at x equals to pi will not going to equal. And uh, let's go back to my um, 
algebra page here and I'm going to do the same thing. So let's calculate the derivative at a point for both functions. So it's going to be at pi here and we're going to type the first function. So 2 sine 2x. Enter. So f dash pi is actually equals to positive 4 and I'm going to do the second one. And I'm going to type my cosine function. You can do this together on your calculator um, as well so that you, um, you'll be familiar with um, all the um, inputs. So that looks good. And then we're going to enter. Now, clearly, as you can see, um, f dash at pi is equal to positive 4 and g dash at pi is actually equals to 1.5 and or three on two. They are completely different. So what you do is you need to sort of like restate um, your answer for the teacher. So simply just gonna say f dash x at pi and say does not equal to g dash at pi and you basically send um, f and g does not join smoothly at x equals pi. All right. So that's pretty much all um, that you need to demonstrate. So um, there are plenty of questions in the textbook and I would like you to have a try at doing them. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you.